Hello my loves, we made it, we made it, we made it. Today is day seven of Embodying the Goddess. Welcome in, my name is Tiara Charday. I am a prophetic oracle, ordained minister, certified master life coach, CEO and founder of Embodying the Goddess Temple and Mystery School. I am also a best-selling author. And we are here to honor and restore the path of the goddess, honor and restore the path of the priestess. We are doing it on this seven day series. Okay, so on this final day, we're going to talk about the juiciest, possibly the juiciest part of embodying the goddess and um, goddess spirituality. It is one of one of the celebrated um teachings within our mystery school the first one being healing womb consciousness many of the women who have joined the mystery school they love when we tap into healing womb consciousness and i feel like this is the second runner up sensual alchemy and manifestation sensual alchemy aka sex magic yes 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 we have to talk about sex magic my love we simply have to and we have to because you're already doing it. <laughs> we have to talk about it because you're already doing it. We are spiritual, sensual, sexual beings. Whether you are celibate, whether you're a virgin, whether you had, you know, a full and loving love life, you have been engaging in sex magic without possibly knowing and a lot of that has to do with our upbringing like nobody teaches us about sex magic like that's not a thing um nobody even teaches us about magic yet it is all up and through our physical reality everywhere you go magic and manifestation and the mystical magical supernatural it's a part of our reality it's a part of who we are but we're not taught that you know in today's society because People like to keep us in a box. And if we're in a box, we are predictable. We are programmable. We are able to do the things that the higher ups, quote unquote, want us to do. I am here to break those chains. Okay, we're going to completely annihilate those chains, completely annihilate all of that brainwashing. And I am here to teach you sex magic and manifestation and what it is. So it has definitely become pretty trendy like you see a lot of people engaging in it um you see a lot of people talking about it um using their sexual energy to mass uh to manifest um and things like that but really i want to remind everyone that sex magic and manifestation is an ancient practice it is something that has been here for thousands thousands of years and it is something that was done in the temples. It was something that was done with a lot of majesty, a lot of sincerity and purity. It was wholly spiritual. Okay, so in Embodying the Goddess um, Mystery School, we tap into the high vibrational understanding of what sex is and what sex magic is. How we can use our powerful and potent sacral and womb chakra energy to manifest the life that we want for ourselves. And a lot of times we use this sex magic and manifestation energy to heal our mind, body, and soul. Right? We use it for healing. We ramp up that juicy sacral chakra energy and we let it permeate to all aspects of our body for healing we allow it to permeate our bloodline for healing it is potent energy our sexual energy is creative life force energy it can create new things it can open up portals so the goddess has to understand how potent and powerful and juicy and just ecstatic her energy is, her womb chakra and her sacral chakra energy is. And so that is why we teach this, okay? Now, we focus, we focus solely on ourselves, right? As the personification of the goddess, as a woman who wants to embody her inner goddess. We go through all of those steps and we also go through the steps that you're needing to understand if you have a romantic partner because you want to make sure you understand your own energy 
and how it moves and how it operates before you engage in sexual intimacy with someone. So we've had many women, you know, take a few days or take a couple weeks of being celibate within their romantic partnership. We've had a couple women introduce, you know, sex magic and manifestation to their romantic partner so that they can understand you know this this new level of teaching or this new way that they were going to engage in sexual intimacy i think that's very very powerful that's why you know in this teaching we have protocols and modalities on um how to engage with your partner from the sex magic and manifestation standpoint right so that you can give and receive that potent and powerful sacral chakra energy with your partner and you both can use it to manifest okay you both can use it to create and cultivate the life that you want for yourself and um this is definitely you know the last module of embodying the goddess mystery school because it is so potent and because i want you to Make sure you're using your energy in a way that is truly beneficial for you. Because if you don't go through understanding the goddess, if you don't go through healing womb consciousness, beauty and luxury um, and sacred sexuality, then you're going to have, you know, um, a challenging experience when it comes to sex magic. And not only that, your energy, the vibration and frequency that you are building up when you are involved in uh, sexual intimacy it can go in different ways, y'all. It can be corrupted. It can be stolen from you. It can be siphoned from you. We have a lot of sex magicians out here, y'all. We have a lot of people who work with more evil and demonic energies that can absolutely siphon this powerful sacral and womb chakra energy. And they absolutely have. Like in the program, I you know, share a lot of stories that I've heard and I've experienced of people siphoning your your sexual energy and they're using it to build the life that they want for themselves. They're using it to manifest what they want and they're stealing from you. So that is why I go through all of the other healing modalities, rituals and ceremonies and then get to this step. Okay, we want you to be able to manifest the life of a goddess Right, that's what embodying the goddess is. We want you to become a living, breathing goddess. And this goddess energy, she understands her sexual power, whether she's celibate or whether she has a partner or partners. She knows what she's doing with her energy so that she can protect it, that she can only give the magical aspects of sexual intimacy to those who deserve it. So this is like one of the most important rituals or mo one of the most important practices that we understand within embodying the goddess because even in our bloodline, many of the women and men have been sharing this potent energy with people who do not deserve it, right? And it has created so many generational curses and cycles because of it. So in our mystery school, we're going to eradicate all of that so that your power, your magic, your sacral chakra room, powerful energy. I keep saying powerful because that's literally what it is. You will only give it to those who you know can amplify and heal your bloodline and yourself and can heal the entire planet using this sex magic and manifestation um, practices. All right. So. This is very important to learn. I'm so happy that, you know, I am here for you. I'm so happy I, I received these downloads. First of all, many of you know, we are in, what is this, year four of Embodying the Goddess. Our baby is four years old. We've helped literally hundreds of people, y'all. Like, we have been so impactful. That's another one of the things that I teach is don't worry about the numbers, right? Don't worry about how many followers somebody has or how many likes someone has. You still have incredible impact in this time and space. And you need to know who you are and be encouraged and be inspired to continue to walk your path, whatever that is. That is literally why I am here to teach these things to you, to share my story with you. 
Okay, in my programs, I share personal accounts of my life and what I've gone through that I do not share publicly. And it's just because we have cultivated such a sacred and loving community with Embodying the Goddess Temple and Mystery School that I want to share it with those people that I love and who I know love me. And there's a sacred space, there's a respect, there's privacy, there's unity there. There's a sisterhood there that I do not take for granted, okay? So if you want to tap in, which I highly recommend, if you, especially if you made it to day seven, make sure you tap in, make sure you click on the links in my description box, tiarashardate.com, click on work with me, scroll down until you get to Embodying the Goddess Within, and click on that in order to tap into the Mystery School you will see everything that we offer. We have bonuses, we have resources, meditations, rituals, ceremonies, spells, healing. Like We have everything. We have really cultivated a true mystery school in honor of the goddess. And I would love for you to join us. We have a lot of discounts and perks when you join us. We share a lot of tips and tricks and personal accounts from other women that can really help nurture our spiritual development. All right. So I would love to see you there. Thank you so much for tapping in with me. I wish you so much love and so many blessings. I will see you in the next message. Peace and love, everyone. Take care.